Hi, here already are some of the models I wanted to use today and uh, uh, some of them are new, uh, never offered at our shop. Um, and I also wanted to talk about the difference between uh, these simple molds we sell and, um, and uh, some more classic uh, versions of, of the molds. So, yeah, let's start with the, the, uh, with the pattern that was inspired by the uh, Japanese wave uh, pattern. Uh, I suppose you may have seen uh, uh, some photos of the pattern on, on our Instagram. And uh, here are the molds for this pattern. Earlier I printed square ones, uh, but there are some new additions, including this mesh for making round sheets of paper. And the latest one, I was asked uh, by, by one of the customers to make this one. Uh, it's it's small paper making mold for uh, A6 paper format. I never tried this one before and uh, I'll try to make some paper with it in a moment. Last, last thing to show, I have a piece of paper that uh, I made, made uh, with the previous batch uh, just to show you how the pattern looks like uh, in the paper. I'm not sure how, how good it will be seen, but I hope you see the waves, wave watermarks or wave mesh pattern. Okay, let's try to make some paper. I have the paper pulp already prepared. This one is mostly a Recycled paper with some addition of cotton, cotton rags, something like some old clothes or something. I mixed blue and red to get some purple color to it. We'll see how it how it goes. Let's start with the small one. I guess while the water is draining out of the mold, make some round paper as well. Okay, let's move back to my board. My setup isn't really perfect because I mostly make paper when uh, I have orders for uh, paper making molds and I, I usually don't make paper for myself for some other reasons so it's usually some tests to, to be sure that uh, paper molds I printed are of good quality and they work properly. So here is the main difference between the simplified molds we sell and the classic designs. So these simplified versions do not have any, any frame and you have to press. Okay, no luck with the first one. Let's try again. So you have to press the mesh to the surface to, to get some paper. It's not as handy as with the classic molds, but then it's a bit cheaper. So why not? Okay, here's the first one. And let's return to paper pot. Let's 
time I make a square sheet of paper. Some people joined. I'm not sure if there are any questions yet. I'll check. Just give me a moment, please. Next thing I wanted to show is uh, the difference between these uh, 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 simplified molds and uh, uh, more classic versions with cell. So. Here is, once again, a uh, simplified mold and uh, the mesh is just a flat surface uh, and then there is a frame and uh, a frame that holds uh, water and paper pulp while, while the water sifts through the mesh. And uh, uh, as you saw a moment ago, uh, when you uh, you have to push with your hands uh, all, all over the surface of, of the mesh to uh, to transfer the uh, newly made sheet of paper to, to the cloth. And uh, the more classic approach is when you have uh, uh, a mesh on, on, on a frame, uh, which is the mold, and uh, then you have uh, a f another frame that uh, serves the same purpose uh, as uh, with a simplified version uh, uh, to, to hold uh, uh, the paper pulp while uh, the water sifts through the mesh. But by the way, I, I'm still not sure uh, about the naming because uh, uh, in the sources I read, the uh, part with the, with the mesh is, is called uh, a mold and then uh, uh, the other part of the frame is, is, uh, is decal. But uh, uh, from my customers, I receive uh, comments uh, uh, in all the different ways. Uh, some of them call the... the, the uh, the mesh, uh, uh, the decal, uh, the other ones called the uh, outer frame, uh, uh, the decal. So uh, I'm still not sure, and that's that's pretty, uh, I don't know, annoying or what. So <laughs> if anybody knows for sure, please tell me. We also have uh, uh, wider decals. So it's it's even more alike uh, the uh, wooden molds, uh, uh, wooden and metal molds that are that were made, made traditionally for uh, many uh, decades and centuries. So yeah, we have all three options, and uh, uh, these more classic-looking options are a bit more expensive, uh, but uh, the simplified mold is a bit cheaper. So yeah. Okay, let's try the small one once again. Much better. Square is the next one. I guess that uh, these uh, simplified molds are much more flexible. Uh, they remind me of uh, uh, traditional Japanese molds that are also pretty flexible. This one. Try one. 
once again. Maybe I'll need to surf or to, to send the surface of uh, these square walls one more time so that paper pulp goes do not stick as, as much as, as it is right now. Okay, I also wanted to make something else. One more pattern, one more format. Let me show it to you. So here it is. Uh, it's, it's a mold for a sheet of paper shaped like a tag or something. And here, for example, is a fir tree. You can make a sheet of paper shaped like a fir tree. Okay, let's try this one. And uh, this one has more traditional uh, pattern that looks like uh, the pattern of late paper. Of course, it's not exactly light paper because it's not made with the uh, paper making mold uh, that consists of uh, uh, lines of wire but this this form repeats the the pattern pretty well maybe it's too regular <laughs> i don't know Let's return to the square one, the square mold. One more time. Yeah, this time I tried to use the other side of, of the mesh uh, as uh, it is not attached to any frame or, or, or something. Uh, you can, of course, use any sides if there are no watermarks with text or, or I don't know what. Uh, um, so this side is much better. So I guess uh, this uh, uh, mesh needs a bit more sanding uh, so it would work perfectly. And that's the reason to make all these tests in the first place. 
so here comes the tag Okay, I guess I, I had to better remove all this additional paper pulp before, but yeah, you know, you can always cut it away. At the same time, when uh, uh, I was uh, asked or advised to try uh, some Japanese patterns as uh, patterns for uh, for the meshes. Uh, I also tried uh, making uh, a pattern that's called as Asanoha. I hope I'm pronouncing it uh, well enough. And uh, the first try wasn't really good. I didn't like the result. Uh, so the paper was okay, but the the pattern wasn't uh, as visible as I wanted it to be. And uh, yeah, here is the, the first fold, the first mesh, and I, I modified the design just a bit, and uh, uh, this one is the second version, and uh, it doesn't have uh, holes uh, inside these stars, circles inside the stars, circle holes inside the stars, so maybe the pattern would be more visible. Let's try making this one. And maybe, oh yeah, now I see the question. Yeah, all these are made with 3D, 3D printers. So I, I designed the decals uh, and molds and, and the patterns. I designed them first and then I print them in different sizes and in different uh, shapes. So, so starting with smallest uh, that, uh, that are 10 by 10 centimeters and the largest ones are uh, 37 by 37 centimeters. So yeah, that's it. Okay, let's try making uh, this uh, paper with uh, Sanoha pattern and uh, maybe finish the paper making process with uh, this fir tree. I'm not sure if I ever tried using it. I printed it just like a test, but I never used it. Okay. In any case, I'm not sure there's enough paper pulp left for much more paper. Here is this one, and the fir tree. Yeah, but this one, the water, water uh, goes through much more slowly because uh, there is too much uh, flat surface here that doesn't allow for the water to go through. Okay, let's give it a moment. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I don't really understand uh, comments coming, not, not in English or Russian, so... <laughs> I will try to, I will try to check uh, 
the translation translation later maybe and reply you later. Okay, so here comes paper with Asanoha pattern. I printed this mold with some leftovers, so you see all the different colors here. Okay. At least for now it worked well. We'll see how it looks like when it's dry. And last sheet of paper. By the way, what's your favorite source of cotton racks? I found out that I love paper made out of old jeans. I guess I'll make some of it some more tomorrow. Let's go the other way around. So it points the right way. Should be a bit uneven, but yeah, I think it's it looks well. Let me move the second camera so I can show it to you closer. Let's see. Yeah, here is where the edge of the mold was with the step, so the paper will be much thicker. And the same goes with the peg. Uh, yeah. yeah, you can see the the edge. And I guess I, I, I could have been a bit more precise in removing the leftover materials. Okay. And uh, Usually, as, as I'm, as I always say, I'm not not a real paper maker. Uh, I usually dry my paper on on uh, on uh, on the windows on the glass, so it 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 dries well. But uh, uh, this time I wanted to try something something else, something new, because I just uh, bought a drying press a couple of weeks ago. I, I used one for just 50 euros, so just. I will remove uh, the mic for a moment and will bring uh, the drying press here and I guess I will need uh, to make some more adjustments with cameras because I'm doing all this stuff in in, in uh, our bathroom as you can see and, uh, and there is not much place here so give me a moment please. So let's see what can I do with the camera. Okay, let's do it like this. Okay. Yeah. Here it is. I never used it before. I I, I turned it on. Check that. Uh, uh, it heats up, but I never used it before, and 
I'm not sure how it will go. I'm not sure at all. So wish me wish me good luck. Thanks a lot for all your nice comments. I much appreciate it. Okay, it will take a moment to heat up. Uh, what can I show you? What else can I show you while it's heating up? I thought I'd, I'd have more molds over here. Let's see, yeah, not really. Have one more. <laughs> here's here's a star. Make a star, and uh, yeah, this one is a bit different. I'm not sure if I can really show it to you, but it has this circle in the center, and then uh, there are smaller circles on the sides. I I was trying to to make uh, make paper for for a paper lamp. Uh, for a lamp that uh, will have uh, uh, several sheets of paper stacked uh, as a lampshade and uh, so this central uh, circle allowed to put a light bulb inside in, 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 in the center of this uh, stack of uh, paper sheets and the smaller circles were used for the rods so you can for, for the guides so you can stack them and uh, yeah I sort of like the result, but uh, never finished the lamp. Uh, I needed to make some changes uh, to the design and uh, never returned to it. Maybe, maybe, maybe next month. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, it's definitely heating up. Yep, this one is warm. So uh, yeah, it's 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 recycled paper. This batch is mostly recycled paper with some addition of uh, recycled uh, cotton rags. I'm not sure what it was. I told earlier that uh, I mixed blue and uh, red cloth. Blue was from some old jeans and uh, red was I don't know what. And uh, I wanted to get some purple color and. It may be, yeah, something like light purple. It's mostly recycled paper. And I don't, I never made any paper with uh, plants or something like that that I gathered on, on my own. That's, I don't know, for my next life, I guess. <laughs> uh, how is it possible to use the paper? I do not add anything uh, uh, to the paper, so um, I know that uh, some of my friends tried uh, to use it for drawing, but it, it works with, I don't know, I think acrylic, acrylic uh, paint, but uh, not, it not always works with watercolors or something, and uh, it depends on, oh, I, I forgot the word, so you need to add something to the paper pulp, so uh, it will be more suitable for watercolors or something but yeah once again i'm not a paper making professional so i'm not really ready to answer this question <laughs> but yeah you can draw I, I write on this paper a lot i use it for uh, my diaries or for my workbooks or something you can definitely use it for for writing maybe not for fountain pens uh but yeah okay it finally starts to dry up maybe just a bit more we'll see how it goes okay so yeah not the best shape but I guess you can see the outline. <laughs> yeah. If I if I removed uh, all these leftovers, it would be much better. But yeah, I still sort of like the result. 
So, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching. I will dry all the other sheets of paper offline. See you next time.